Welcome everyone, this is Mundan Raghavan and this video we are going to see how to create the custom fixtures. Before to that we will understand why do we need the custom fixtures and when you create the custom fixtures what are the different steps in detail we are going to see in this video. Let's jump into the video. Before going to the custom fixtures we will understand the previous page object model quickly. Here you can see the form page where it will represent the form inside your web application and it has all its locators and the business methods. Here it is your test. Here it will have the test cases where you will write your basic test case. You will create the instance of the web page. For example, here line number 5 you can see. We are creating the instance of the form by passing the page from the playwright. Then you are start using the form and you can call any methods from that form and you can call any locators as well. So this is the basic agenda. And in this you can see there is a fixtures given by the playwright predefined fixture which is the page. In previous video we have seen what are the predefined fixtures. However in this video we are going to create our custom fixtures. The question arises why do we need the custom fixtures. Here it is a very simple example so that is the reason we have only one page. But when you go for the uh, big application or let's say the real-time application you will be having let's say 10 or 15 pages for example form page and the home page and you might be having the let's say card page you will be having the payment page and let's say if you have 10 pages and if you start importing everything here the code will not be looking very good and in the same place you need to create the different objects every time for example if it is a login page is required in the same test case again you need to create the one more object like login page. Let's say for example next test case you want something again the form again you need to create because you are creating this form page inside your test. So that will not be available in the next test. So for that reason we will be creating the fixtures which is defined by us and this fixtures from our side. Now when you see the page as the predefined fixture which means that it is coming from the test. So that's the reason inside the test method the first parameter or argument will be the method name or the test case name precisely and second one will be having the asynchronous function and this function can have the predefined fixtures. So that means that this entire predefined fixtures concept comes from the test. Now you want to implement your own fixtures that means that you will extend the existing test. Then rather than getting this test function from the playwright test which is the line number one you will be getting from your own fixture where you have extended your test. Just to create that one we will create a folder here called fixtures and let's create one more. Let's say custom iPhone fixture dot ts. Now before writing the code we will understand what are the things we are going to do. First of all we need to know Let's see, we need to extend, so that's clear, extend the existing test method and after extending it should return our required page object, precise we can tell like a form, form page because we have the playwright page also, right? So form page and now the catch is when you create the form page you need the page I mean the playwright page object because the constructor has the page if you go to the form page when you want to create the instance of this form the constructor needs the page object so that's the reason we need the page then we need to just export this so that we can use it in our existing test it might be very pseudo code. Let's start with the basic. Now let's see test. So when you when you have the test, then first let me import test. And we are going to extend. So that means that you cannot mention the extend, and you are creating new test and the old also test. So just to differentiate those things, we will create alias name. Let's mention as a base. Again from playwright test. Now we have the base. That means that the original test. Now I will mention base dot extend 
and here you need to give the types or let's say the which kind of objects or which kind of fixtures you want to create let's say in your case if you have only one class or one page object you need to create for example form page you can directly mention here something called form page and this is the type of form you need the form so just import that one so what happens is like tomorrow if you need 10 more pages or 5 more pages you cannot add everything here and you cannot extend multiple times so rather than doing this one what we are going to do is just remove here so in nutshell you want the multiple pages right so for that you will be creating that type let's say this is my total ui pages the total things now let's open and this is having an object or let's say this is angle brackets and in that you whatever you want you can mention see for example I am going to mention form page is the variable and this is type of form the similar line you can add different pages for example login page and if you have the class called login page then you can create the login page but obviously we don't have anything like that but just to represent this area we can have list of pages now rather than mentioning each and every page here I will directly mention UI pages so extend is the method in angle brackets you mention what kind of objects that you can extend or fixtures you can create now open the method and it will have again one more object now in this let's create the method first sorry the variable form page because we mentioned in UI pages we have the form page so that means that after implementing here we are going to return the form page only so that's the reason this UI pages will refer the type and this type tells we have one variable which is the type of form so here we are going to return the form now we have mentioned the form page colon so hereafter you are going to write a code which will return the object the form page which is type of form now let's write async you know why do we use the async and as of now let's see sorry my bad now here you can see in nutshell you have this entire method which will be responsible to return the object for the form page and it has the page why because you are extending the base in simple base is nothing but your test so you know that test already has the page so that's the reason you are not getting any error here because you have already page fixture which is the predefined now this function will be called and here you are having the page now let's see since it's a separate method I will be creating one more variable let's say the form now I can create the form object and now I have the page also from the playwright because we are not going to edit anything this form so that's the reason we will make it the constant and since it's a asynchronous now we have one more object or one more method called use so generally we will just use it from the test so this use is from the test so that's the reason same like page this can be used why do we need use because we are telling this object can be used in place of form page so await and use so use as a method now I am telling this object this format now again we will recollect one more time the first one we have the import statement for the test but we are making the alias as base because we are extending and we are creating one more test just to avoid the naming confusion we are creating alias name as base now let's start with directly base extend and we are going to extend that means that we are going to create some more fixtures but when you start creating the fixtures beforehand you need to tell what are the types of fixtures you are getting create 
at which type. If it is a single class, you can directly mention form page colon the form class because this is a class, this is the type. Now let's say we have multiple pages, then rather than mentioning all the things in a single place, we will mention like a type and we will mention the list of pages here. When I mention the UI pages inside the extent, that means that whatever the fixtures you are returning from this base dot extent, everything will be the type of any one of the types you mentioned in the UI pages. Now, once you have the opening inside the extent, now you have the list of variables. For example, we have only one form page and colon. After that, you will be writing the function, which is totally responsible to return the form page object, which is the type of form. Now we have using the asynchronous function. And since it's extending the test, you will be having the page by default predefined. And we have one more call to use. This is only for the extend operation we will use it. And this use is the callback function. That means that in later time you can use the use. By using the page, you can do whatever things you want to do. But in simple, we want to create the object for the form class. Since we need the form class, we are importing the form class and we are passing the existing fixtures and we are creating the object for the form class. Now we have the object. Now we have completed all our activities. Now we are going to use it. Use it means this will be used inside your fixtures. So we are calling use method. Since it's a fixture, now we can call it and we can pass the object. Since it's totally it's asynchronous, we are mentioning the await statement so that it will go in the sequential way. Once you complete this entire function, will be written in the object form and it is to form page. And you know that form page is the type of form, so it will check that object form, whether it is type of form, yes, we created for the form, so it will be matching. Then everything is fine. Now, you need to export this test because you took the existing test object, you added some more fixtures to it, now it should be available to the other test cases. Then only this test along with the new fixture will be available to all the places. So for that, what you can do is like you can just export. So just go to the home and let's see, export. Again, we are not going to change anything in this. We should not be changing. So for that, I'm just making constant and export. So in simple, we have completed every step here. For example, we extend the existing test method, return our required form page. Yes, correct. And the extend will have the type or the class name, which type you want to have the fixture. We mentioned that and we passing the same thing. And we have the page object because we have the existing test and we export. So that means that now it is available to everyone. Now go to the test. Now, since we have this test from the a different custom fixture, we can remove this play rate. I mean, we can remove test from this play rate. And let's go import. Let's take test and this time we are not going to get from the play rate test. We extended so dot dot go to the main fixture fixture slash custom fixture. Now since we have extended from our own custom fixture, we can have the form page. Now here after you don't need to have this and even you don't need to have here as well because we don't need to have anything from the specific form page our classes we have the fixtures already now here what you can do is like okay now since we have something we don't need to change every place make it as form okay I don't think this aliases will work here then what we can do is like alt shift select everything form page that's all now even if I remove these lines will not make any problem we already commented out and we can remove these lines. Yes, here it is. Now here you can see along with pages, we have the form page also. So these pictures will be available to you. Let's say tomorrow you have multiple pages. You can create all the multiple pages by mentioning here. At the same time, the same functions will return. And based on the individual pages, you will be passing your different inputs. At the end, it will be giving you the object of the a different UI page then you can use it any test case and here let's see for example I will create one more test case and here let's say test 2 
and here I can use directly form page so I don't need to have anything or I don't need to set up anything the once you set the fixtures it will be available for all the test cases and unless you have the this custom fixture import the test is imported from here so now you can understand this totally the fixture concept but sometimes you need to have the test data again you don't need to create any fixtures here fixtures in general it means the data that you available to you by default let's say I'm going to create one file here but this will be like a data dot JSON let's say I'm going to create object or let's see something name and then let's see place okay just save it let's say in real time you might be having the different business objects or the user objects or the different rules so you can mention everything in the JSON for simplicity we have here only two fields in my URL I need to use it for example I have this Muguntan and Rakavan right so let me change it here or add it one more thing let's see let me make this is the first name L name yes here it is even data you don't need to just mention here you can mention directly test dot use and or otherwise here it, I think it's import let's say this is the data from fixtures slash data dot json now you have the data so you don't need to write a single code you can directly use all the things here data dot f name data dot l name here it is now you can see even we have outsourced the json file also that means that we can get the data from the JSON file you don't need to do anything directly write the JSON if your requirement is very simple just to have some data you can use the JSON file or let's say you want to create something object related things you want to create some UI pages like a page object model you can use the fixtures and the same way here also you can use it in other test cases also you can use the same data for example let's see data dot place save it format now you can run everything and see the output nothing should break this is our form test it should enter the first name and last name here it is now go to the output here you can see the place also being printed so that means that we have totally learned about the fixtures and the how to import the JSON file without writing a single single line of code and we totally understand why do we need the fixtures in case if you just go across the different objects UI objects so that's all about this video so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day